Do you know what really sucks? When you have to book a meeting with a colleague or with someone else and you have to go back and forth, back and forth multiple times just to figure out when you have a common window where you can schedule the meeting. And I don't know if it's my ADHD or is the same for everybody else, but that activity is not just boring is also draining because I need to constantly contact the switch, send the email, check my calendar, agree with their calendar, and then I, I try to visualize their calendar to see if there is another slot. And it's, it's such a waste of time and a waste of energy. So today, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a new tool that is in beta at the moment, but I, I played with it for a little bit and I think it's the right tool to solve this problem. So before we start, I want to mention this is a sponsored video and I'll try to do everything in in the video so you can see exactly my reaction and how the system works so the tool is called meet thing and um, we're gonna it's an ai assistant that lives in your email at the moment it's only compatible with gmail what you can do you can whenever you need to schedule a meeting you can add to the conversation thing and then thing will look at your calendar and if the other person is using thing as well we look at their calendar as well and it will immediately find a slot that is compatible with both of you and that's how you do it so instead of having five six emails you just involve thing and thing will do the thing so let's see i've already onboarded two emails and i want to show you what is the ui of thing so you have this is the the main ui and when you go on this tab you have a view of your calendar obviously you have to connect with your google calendar and you have a few details here that you have to specify. So what is your role? It can be any of these freelancer, entrepreneur, consultant. I don't exactly know how this is used, but I think will be used for additional features and also for changing the tone of the emails. At the moment we are in beta, so not all the features are available, but in the conversation that I had with them, I think really cool stuff can be done with this AI assistant. The other thing that you have obviously is your time zone but then you can specify your uh, week if you work on uh, a Monday to Friday or you have specific days and also it is your uh, time pattern. It, this is quite standard and expected. Then you can provide the type of meetings. So do you have a Google meeting, an in-person meeting or a mobile phone call, etc. The other thing is max duration of meetings. So when you said this, it's more the default value because you can ask to book a 30 minutes meeting and thing will book a 30 minutes meeting. And the last thing is the max number of meetings. So this is maximum number of meetings you want in a single day to be booked by thing on top of your daily routine. You have a few other features like allowing buffer time between meetings. So if you want to take a break between one meeting or you are okay with back to back calls, you can specify that here. So you can have five, 10, 15, 30 minutes. And obviously if you want to receive notifications and um, tips, updates, etc., you can click here. So why not say preferences? So this is the onboarding. What I want to show you now are two things. So what we're gonna do is simulate a conversation. So as you can see, I've already experimented a little bit, but let's do this live while recording. So I'm going to send from my other email, an email to this new account that you see here. It should come in a second. So let's see. So I received an email from my friend Anto and he's asking, hi lab. So lab is this email account. Hi lab would be good to have a 30 minutes catch up. What's your availability next week? So next week today is Sunday. So next week we need to look at this. So we reply and we do, Hey Anto, sure we can do next week. And at this point, what I do, I ask Ting to book a meeting and uh, actually is going to send my availability for Monday. So now Anto should receive an email with my a number of slots for next week. That's the email that we both received. Hey Anto, here sometimes for lab on Monday for 30 minutes catch up. So you see now what is happening? The interaction is not happening with me anymore, but it's happening between Ting and Anto. 
So Anto now can choose, it can say Monday at nine is perfect. And we send this back. Let's see what's gonna happen now. So Anto replied to both of us and things should pick up the conversation, get the context and book automatically the meeting. Monday night is perfect for me. Perfect. 30 minutes catch up with lab is confirmed Monday, September 22nd at 9 a.m. UK. You can join. Okay. So if you look at this, now we go Monday, catch up 9 a.m. between lab and Anto. It's also set up as a Google Meet. And there is also, if you look at this, there is also a little bit of description. So if there is an email with uh, a little bit more context, that will be put in the in the description as well. So this is the first example. This is when you have one user with Ting, the other user without Ting. What we're going to see now is what is going to happen when both the users are Ting users as well. So I have the second email here. And we are going to do this little interaction. So we're going to say lab. We need to work on the project review. We're going to involve Ting directly because we work together. I work with lab as well. So Ting, can you book meeting for us? Okay, so now I'm going to send this. Let's see what happens now. Hey lab, you got it since you... Hey lab, you got it since both you and Anto are Ting users. I've automatically rescheduled your 30 minutes call for Wednesday. Oh, sorry. This is the wrong one. Project review. Hey Anto, all set. Since everyone is a Ting user, I have automatically scheduled your uh, project review for uh, you and lab. So your meeting is confirmed for Tuesday, September 16 at 11. So if I look at my calendar, you can see that there was work happening here and if you look at lab calendar he got booked at 11 as well so i'm curious to see the content this meeting is scheduled to conduct a project review the discussion is expected to last for an hour so you see is it's quite convenient to do this because you minimize the interaction even in this email lab didn't even had to do anything he just got notified by me Thing did this. Now let's suppose that lab is not available. Lab can simply do this, can say, hi both, sorry, I am not available. Can we book it for Wednesday? No problem, lab, all set. Since everyone is a thing user, I've automatically scheduled your project review for you and Anto. Your meeting is confirmed Wednesday, September 17th. You see, it's been moved to Wednesday. So kept the same size, it kept everything. So thing now, we had quite a number of things happening here. So we had Anto inviting lab and Ting making the schedule without any interaction. We had the rescheduling. And in uh, this example, we had the human intervention only in two cases. We had Anto with the initial email and lab with the rescheduling email. So this is incredible i think will save so much time and will simplify a lot so you can do other things with thing you can do like for example you can cancel a meeting keep rescheduling the context is so related to this it's quite powerful in my opinion i don't know what you think am i the only one to be excited with these things i don't know i'm so looking forward for the all the additional features that can come in terms of including meeting rooms so if what if i want to schedule and find the meeting room that's another very hard thing to do because every time i need to combine multiple calendars and make sure there is a the right window for uh, for the meeting room there is the right window for my colleagues and then you have to reschedule multiple times so the amount of effort that goes into this activity for me is non-negligible I don't know what you think, so let me know down in the comment. The other thing is the link to access Ting is going to be down in the description. So feel free to join the waiting list for the beta. I think soon the beta will be over, so everybody will use Ting. The other incredible thing of Ting is that it's free. So you can use it, you can connect to your Google account and soon will also be available for other systems and including Outlook. So if you want to have everything integrated, but you're not using Google, 
don't worry soon the outlook version will also come and a work for example i use outlook so it would be very cool to use something like this i think hours literally hours of productivity will be gained back by lots of people the the entire workforce in a large organization so i don't know what you think leave a comment down below and uh, see you in the next video bye